guys, you don't know how happy am I now to get back and to say Hello everyone, you're watching Real Russia Channel, the deepest insight into the real Russian life with no fake and no bullshit. Can you hear me? No bullshit. My name is Sergey Baklakov and there behind the camera, Renat Kutlohmetov. Ready, Kittel? Say hello to the audience, man. Yes, exactly. My name is Red Kittle and hello everyone. We are now as usually in the city of Ufa. That's the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. And we are staying right near the antique store museum, which is called Ufimsky Collectioner, the collector of Ufa. Old antique coins, the post stamps, porcelain and glass, sculptures and just everything. Let's get inside. Come on, man. Come on. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it started. And the first thing that I want to uh, get your attention to is these samovars, traditional Russian samovar. That's where the Russians in old days were making the tea. For example, this one. The biggest cost just less than hundred dollars, just about um, eighty-five American dollars. I say the price in dollars because it will be just more understandable for you. Now, here in the beginning, not too much interesting things. Actually, just the porcelain figures. But let's go further and see more interesting things. Now, here is the real gramophones. The real gramophones and you know it's walking it's absolutely walking let's try to start this this is the Beethoven <laughs> the uniqueness of these things is that they are not only antique but they are walking they are still walking and actually that's what tells about their quality if you want to know the price for this one in this store this is about just 1000 american dollars this one the smaller the smaller gramophone is less just about 300 american dollars now uh, pay the attention to this interesting TV box which is actually three in one transformer because it also have uh, the radio receiver and here on the top of this the gramophone and this one is the radio receiver only with the watches and what about the watches let's look here it is made in the end of 19th century it was uh, the watches special for the horse carriage it was staying there and you know what's great here is that we can see the glass um, from three sides of four and we uh, can see the mechanism the mechanism which is still walking and it also tells about the quality of the things now this is the watches for the fireplace and here we can see actually an angel the watchman who look for and protect the watches this is uh, the place for the silver things like the pots like the spoons the forks the part cigars a lot of them here and actually many many of the things are not that expensive starting from just uh, maybe two three hundred dollars but some of the examples are really expensive now Go to the next window and here is the jewelry. Many kinds of an antique jewelry and the things like um, the beautiful boxes made of the masters of handmade. Uh, interesting examples. And now here is some of the boosts. Let's say the boost of Joseph Stalin. Stalin! Okay, now let's go to the next uh, show place and here we can see the watches again, but this is already another kind of the watches, the rice watches. I hope I pronounce it this right. Go to the next exposition which is very huge and very interesting because this is an exposition of the coins, really a lot of them here, all kinds, all sorts 
and old times, starting from antique times, then going to the uh, Russian Empire, Rome Empire epoch, the Soviet Union, and these days. And actually, a really interesting collection of these days is the collection of the gold, absolutely gold coins dedicated to the Summer Olympic Games in Moscow of 1980. This is the six coins and the total price of this is $5,300. You know, I actually got two coins as well here. This is the coins of the Soviet epoch and the price for each is just one American dollar. This is uh, the 50 years of the Soviet authority where Lenin, uh, the Red Star and SSSR, USSR caption. And this is uh, 30 years of the victory in a great patriotic war. This is the motherland which is staying, the monument which is staying in Volgograd. This is different. Uh, eagles with the faces of the Mother Mary, of the Jesus and Saint people. Actually, mostly here is an Orthodox uh, Christian thema thematic. thematic. Now, let's pay attention to the exposition of um, medals, medallions and orders. Many different kinds of them. This exposition is really very interesting, I think, because it mostly represents the 20th century. And I believe that most of us was born in 20th century and it's close to us. And the first thing I want to notice is this cinema camera, which is called Quartz. And I believe this is one of those cameras, uh, our the first cosmonaut in the world, Yuri Gagarin, used when he was invited for the New Year's. TV show of the USSR, which was called Blue Fire. Blue Fire, yes, it was real interesting in the USSR times. This is the portrait of Vladimir Lenin, the creator of the USSR. He is reading the Pravda, the truth newspaper Pravda. Well, what else? Here is also things like the photo camera, like uh, watches. Um, the bottle, the bottle of the beer and things like that. Actually, not too much interesting as this. This is the matching gun. AK-47, the most popular in the world. Still the most popular Kalashnikov. <laughs> uh, well, it is inactivated now. And this is the gun of Spagen. The gun of Spagen. <laughs> hey, man, you like partisan. The boost of Stalin, a big one. Also the phone. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Stalin. Okay. Well, Stalin said that we are making a great work. And the final thing that I have to notice here is a lot of pictures. For example, this picture of the Soviet Union pioneer girl. So pretty people. Yeah. Finally going to the last showroom here in this store. But before that, let me to show another interesting thing. This is another matching gun that makes me look like a Terminator. It was staining, really was staining on a real Russian tongue. I wonder if now it really makes me look like a Terminator, man. Absolutely no. What? <laughs> you lie, bastard. Okay, going to the final showroom here. And uh, actually a lot of pictures uh, with the famous Russian landscape, the landscape of the famous Russian village. Also, Egan's again with the faces of sane people and some of the books, like uh, this one, for example, The Money of Russia. This is a coffee table edition, actually for the gifts here. Everything about the Russian, the history of Russian money and the price is $1,300. Well, in these folders, we can see a lot of, a lot of postcards, the Soviet Union postcards, uh, 
and so and the prices are kind of affordable for them just uh, about 10 15 dollars i guess i will buy some of them and here is the postcards also very affordable uh, postcards of different countries and different times and this is traditional famous russian sleds well actually that's it all other things are actually the different variations of everything what I already shown you here in this store, which is called the Collector of Ufa. Thank you for watching, guys. Actually, that's where I have to stop and to say traditionally, don't forget to comment and like and subscribe. Also, share with your friends. My name is Sergey Baklikov behind the camera, Renat Kutlakhmetov, more known as Ready, Kittle. Say bye, man. Oh, bye. Okay. See you guys.